Here with the, and still, WBA Super Flyweight Champion, uh, the professor, Josh Franco. School is in session today. Um, I was talking to Bam after the third, I'm like, he looks really sharp today. Yeah. I thought it was, given the level of opposition, your best performance to date. Yes, sir. Uh, how would you grade your performance, and, and what would you think? I feel like I had a great performance. Um, you know, uh, I showed myself uh, something new by myself that I could, you know, I could also box, you know, when it, when it comes to fights and, you know, have fun. You know, I'm getting more comfortable in there with each fight. You know, even though I have uh, two trilogies, I'm still learning as fights go on. You know, I'm still I'm still getting better. I'm still learning stuff about myself. So, you know, I, f I feel really great. Normally, uh, the, the one knock on you is that you tend to sl uh, start slow sometimes. Um, yeah. You know, two of the draws with Negret, if you probably would have started quicker, yeah. you would have removed all doubt. Mm -hmm. I thought you did really well in the first round. Is there a, a, you know, is it in your head to not give away the early rounds and, and get started quicker? Yeah, for sure. You know, that was in my head, especially what happened with the, with the, with the second fight with me and Maloney. You know, he got out pretty quick and I, and I led him. But, you know, that was, that was my fault, you know, with, with the second fight. And, you know, this time, you know, my dad was telling me, Robert was telling me that I need, I need to start, you know, quicker. So I mean, that's what I did. You seem to be landing first, Morris, and, and beating him with the jab, uh, beating him when you both fired the jab, yours got there first. That didn't seem to be the case in the second fight in particular. Mm -hmm. um, was, was timing, was that something that you guys focused on during camp? Yeah, you know, uh, it's not, it just it just came natural, you know, in, in the ring and, you know, um, yeah, I don't know, it's just something that just came that came to me, you know, when I was in there. You, you looked to be really confident with the right hand. You, you, you were fist pumping every time. Did you know that there was nothing he could do about your right hand that was going to score it well? Because you yeah. seemed to land it yeah. every time you threw it. That was just me having fun. You know, when, when I'm comfortable having fun, I just that's a habit that I do. I, I like to, you know, do little moves here and there. That's just something that I do, and you know, when I, especially when I know that I'm, you know, winning, winning pretty easy. So you got your belt. You've defended it now twice. Um, I saw your little brother Bam. When's he gonna get a, a world title? When are we gonna have two two brothers in one family? Hopefully, I mean soon. two champions in one family. Hopefully soon. You know that's the goal. Yeah. You know um, that, that's what we want. Uh, he was supposed to fight. You know um, when, when was it? Uh, he, was, he was supposed to fight soon for a title. You know and you know we were, we were both you know ho hoping to have two titles in the family. But I mean you know uh, stuff happens. So he'll he'll get his shot soon and you know he, uh, he'll become champion soon. You're in maybe the deepest division uh, as far as champions is. You know, Hall of Famers, not just good fighters, Hall of Famers in your division. Uh, I know you said you want to fight any of them, but is there one that you say, okay, if I beat that guy, it's kind of a, a, a passing of the guard. Like, there's one legend, you know, Chocolatito. Yeah. If I beat him, yeah. I can kind of take his legacy. Yeah, uh, well, you know, Chocolatito, he's a legend, you know. Um, he already, he's up there, you know. Um, to share the ring with him, that would be an honor, you know, just to be in the ring with somebody that, you know, I watched growing up as well, so... I mean, I, w I wouldn't say it would, be, it would be taking his legacy, but, you know, it would, it, would, it would mean something big in my career. I mean, not take his legacy, but kind of dethrone him is what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 for sure. You know, that, that would be, you know, a goal of mine, and that would feel great. Uh, Coach Garcia, yes. um, give him a grade. I think he A plus, man. He Best performance of his... I think he fought a great fight. He listened to everything we were telling him. He was in great shape. He, he was dedicated throughout training camp. Came to training camp already in shape, not too heavy. I think he did everything perfect and the results were, you know, were, were great. You know, we lost a couple of rounds, that's fine, you know, but uh, but he uh, totally dominated. I thought it was the best performance of his career. I thought he looked so com too, too. complete. So too, especially on a title defense on, on a fight that that a lot of people thought we lost the second fight with only two, even though there was only two, two rounds. rounds. And, and uh, you know, from, from the first fight to where the odds were like six to one, I was told earlier today that that uh, yeah, yeah. that that you were still the underdog. Yeah. You know, so you know we just came to prove that you know everybody was wrong because they they believed the second round. I mean, the second fight uh, was the last for us. And how could you win a fight in two in two rounds when the the uh, the ref you know did what he did? The commission decided you know made their decision. You know, it was like like what were we supposed to do? Hand in our belt or something? No, we're the champions, and you gotta come and and beat us to it to to get it back. And Josh did what he did the first time. Put a beating on him. It was an excellent performance, champ. Uh, congratulations, and uh, I'll see you again in San Antonio. God Thank bless. You.